And I understand from what's been testified to the Forest Service and the BLM, you want very much to uh, work on the issue of climate change. I was uh, uh, informed by the media past director of NASA that they have found that the moon's orbit is changing slightly, and so is the Earth's orbit around the sun. Uh, we know there's been a uh, significant solar flare activity. Um, and so is there anything that the National Forest Service or BLM can do to uh, change the course of the moon's orbit or the Earth's orbit around the sun? Obviously, that would have profound effects on our climate. I would have to follow up with you on that one, Mr. Gomert. Yeah. Well, if you figure out a way that you in the uh, Forest Service can make that change, I'd like to know. That was a Republican lawmaker asking seriously whether or not we can forcibly change the orbit of the Earth. Louis Gomert is someone who probably literally believes that pee is stored in the balls. Like, this is the level of intelligence that we're dealing with here. And I know what you're thinking. Like, the lady laughed, so maybe he's just cracking a joke, right? He's being intentionally hyperbolic because he wants to get a reaction out of her. He just wants everyone to get a little bit of a chuckle. Um, mm, not so much. If you think that he's joking there, I mean, sure, that's plausible. But he also said this. He claimed Obama was helping to build a second Ottoman Empire. He was vocally anti-mask. He then subsequently caught COVID-19. And then he questioned whether or not he got COVID-19 from wearing a mask. And then there's also this. But the attorney general failed to answer my the questions about what was after what he went back and in the house regular order, Mr. Chairman. Aspersions the on my pen. asparagus. The, the, the gentleman's... Yeah. Do you honestly believe that that guy wasn't being serious when he asked that question. I just want to know the thought process when he thinks about these questions. Like, if he's asking the question, I mean, obviously he believes that doing that is within the realm of possibility. So in his mind, what would it take to pull something like that off? Like, would we get the shrink ray from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and change it to uh, enlarge and then just like make somebody really, really big and then have them just like ever so slightly tweak the orbit of the earth is that how he thinks it works would be like i don't know put rocket ships on one side of the earth assuming it doesn't spin and just like propel us to like a different orbit i just like i want to know the thought processes like what goes through his mind when he thinks about things like this and furthermore he didn't even have the self-awareness uh, to ask, should I be asking this question? Because sure, maybe we all have beliefs that are uninformed and downright idiotic, but there's also this mechanism in our brains that gets us to kind of self-censor and think, should I be asking this question as an adult? How would this make me look? But he doesn't. He just like lets it all out. Hey, can we just like change the orbit of the earth? Um, yeah, Louis. We can do that. Definitely, we can do that. How do you propose we do that? I just, look, and if he's laugh, if he's like joking and this is all for a laugh, okay, great. But he shouldn't be making these kinds of jokes because even if we're extra charitable and we assume he is kidding about this, based on the questions he's asked previously, the things that he said, terror babies, look it up. I mean, this is pretty much within the realm of something that he would ask seriously so there's nothing left to be said we have lawmakers in dc now within the republican party literally asking if we can change the orbit of the earth if we could do something like this don't you think like the possibilities would be endless and we wouldn't even be worrying about things like climate change because if we're able to actually change the trajectory of our planet like we would be able to at this point harness our sun's energy, create Dyson spheres, um, you know, actually control the weather. I, this is too much. Like, I'm giving him too much credit. Like, he's not thinking about it this far, and he's not that deep of a thinker. But it's a question he asked, so I, I'm assuming he's serious, unless he says otherwise. Um, he's never, like, come out before after saying something stupid and uh, tried to play the, oh, well, I was just kidding, after people say that he's stupid. Like, he's admitted before that he knows people think he's the dumbest member of Congress. So, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. 
This is the state of American politics in 2021. Lawmakers are literally asking questions like this. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 